All right, guys, well, we're just still hanging out here. Got the van. Uh, we're still in Arizona. Uh, it's nice, beautiful sunset kind of going on. Much quieter night. We've had just horrific wind the last couple of days. And uh, tonight is actually really nice. Um, I'm here because uh, I was being interviewed by Brian here, who lives in his minivan. He was interviewing me about living in my van. So I thought you guys would be interested in hearing how he lives in his Astro. Uh, I actually am really interested in Astros. I've always thought they were a cool rig and a real uh, awesome concept. And uh, so we're gonna check in with him and uh, see about how he's living in his uh, Chevy Astro van. Everybody. My name is Brian Bear Butler. I've been living on the road for three years in a lot of different vehicles. All those vehicles helped me kind of get to where I'm at right now. Um, and before that, I was a mechanic, I was a uh, sound engineer, and now I'm a full time filmmaker. Uh, big reason for the Astro Van. I was in a Honda Element before and a few school buses. So I got to experience four wheel drive, all wheel drive, if you will, and space where I could stand up, sit down, do whatever I want in the school bus. And whoop, Honda Element, too small. School bus, too big. Astro van, just right. Windows everywhere, all wheel drive. I get about 18 to 20 miles to the gallon. You can almost find them anywhere for pretty inexpensive. I think I only paid $6,500 for this. They were asking, I think 85, but I showed up with cash. So that's, uh, <laughs> that always helps. Um, and I mean, it looks great. Like I, this one was uh, fully loaded, came with like the wide body kind of kit looking thing. Um, it's got the barn doors in the back that fly all the way open so I can uh, access my stove with having my rear hatch down so the, it blocks the wind from coming in. Overall though, this Astro is phenomenal. You can find parts for it almost anywhere because it's a Chevy and it's 2003 so they've been around for a while. Overlanding, this thing is perfect for it. It's very small. You can kind of fit wherever you want to stick it and uh, that all-wheel drive after some uh, minor rock <laughs> climbing with my street tires you can just feel it just grabbing and going so it just really puts a lot of confidence in you so as a full-time filmmaker I needed lots of storage and uh, luckily in this Astro from the seat all the way to the back it's eight feet so my bed is 48 inches wide so I can fit in there very nicely window to window and sleep comfortably and I have uh, 48 inches of cabinet space as you can see where it houses my Jackery 1500 which powers my fridge at all times. A uh, little cabinet here with all my camera gear, lights, batteries, mics, just everything. Um, some simple storage down there, really easy. Um, the Jackery Explorer 1000 is powered by the solar panels up top and this charges my camera, my laptop, my drone, my little light here, pretty much anything I can I can stick in there. It's going to charge it up real quick. It has all the rapid charge on it. It's really nice. But I love this thing. I try to work in it. He was making fun of me earlier. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my bean bag, which is very uncomfortable. So I think I'm going to take a little something from his playbook. I'm going to maybe flip my chair around permanently and maybe set up like a swinging desk or something of that nature. So thank you for the inspiration. Um, yeah, also up here, toiletries, really easy stuff. Light candles. Always got to have a good book. And uh, handmade mugs. Always awesome. Here's my luxurious, humongous bed in the smallest van you can possibly fit a giant bed in. Um, like I said before, 40 inches and about 70 inches window to window. Um, memory foam from Target. Amazing. I had to cut it, of course, to uh, have it fit. 
Um, beautiful little uh, blinds here. I'm a wildlife photographer at heart, so I just I needed something with wildlife, and I love Arizona. And these remind me of the colors here in Arizona for sure. If you're watching this and you're wanting to get into a van life build, um, when you build a bed, you have to have slats underneath it to allow airflow because mold can build up underneath your bed from just your body heat and humidity. So I would show you under here, but I have slats going this way and that holds all the bed up. And actually on the sides, I have storage under there that you cannot see anywhere else until you pull the mattress out. So super cool to um, stick things in there. You can probably fit a water tank in there and uh, do the same thing that Jason has with that side piece there. But I haven't tried it yet, but I kind of want to now. And forever had no idea what to do with my ceiling and uh, my buddy Baron gave me the idea and he had the sound panels of just putting these up and it blew my brains apart. I was like, this is perfect. Uh, it sounds good when you're speaking in here. It doesn't really insulate, but it does keep a lot of noise out and keeps a lot of the noise kind of contained in here as well. So nothing's like, doesn't sound tinny or anything like that from the metal roof that I had before. So super happy with this and the accent pieces. It's my outdoor kitchen. Um, I had the same setup in my Honda Element. I absolutely loved it, except for windy days and when it's really nasty out. That's kind of the beauty of having a van that does uh, multi-purpose things like this. So this kind of acts like a little awning if I need it. If it's really nasty outside, I can still make some food. Um, definitely not like the school bus where I had an inside kitchen, which was pretty awesome. But this works really well. This slides out really easily. And then in here houses pretty much everything you need to cook stuff. Uh, all my food, pots, pans, uh, you name it, it's in there. This cutting board, me and my buddy made this actually when I was living in a school bus still and uh, repurposed it for my van on these barn doors that I was telling you about. Uh, I also have a uh, propane tank over here. Uh, I got rid of the green cans. Those things, you'll go through them so fast, you don't even know where to throw them out. So switch to the big tank. It's awesome, it looks cool on your rig. Um, and I got some storage over here, big gear locker. All 48 inches. Pretty much houses all my outdoor gear. I film hunts um, on top of filming for tiny home tours on YouTube and my own uh, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, this just houses a lot of things. Ear protection for when no one has uh, silencers on their weapons. Um, I actually have a lift kit in here right now. <laughs> I got the finish putting on. Bunch of lights and just like I said, just backpacking gear like crazy. So on uh, one of these doors here, I'm actually just got an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away a lot of the metal. I'm gonna turn it into a secondary storage area for the back here, so I can get some of the stuff out of here, put it in here, so I can fit a few more bags um, in this space. So trying to utilize every square inch of this thing, and I'm still coming up with new ideas. So I think this one's gonna be pretty cool once I can get it all figured out. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. Outdoor kitchen, some storage. All right, guys, so I actually think this is really cool. I thought very seriously about getting an Astro back before I got uh, Sasquatch. Uh, one of the th cool things about these Astro, especially the ones that like Brian has here with the all-wheel drive, is they're really easy to convert to a f real four-wheel drive. You can actually just pull the transfer case out, and then there's a certain model year S10 transfer case that actually bolts right in. Uh, and then you can buy a little shift kit that gives you a leather. So this was high on my list of potential new vehicles for me or van vehicles when I was looking for a van. So uh, that's part of the reason why I wanted Brian to show you around. So I really appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, you taking around and showing the guys. I hope this gives you guys some ideas. And uh, if you want to check out Brian's actual YouTube channel, what's your actual YouTube channel? Tell them. It is my full name, Brian Bear Butler, B-R-I-A-N-B-E-A-R-B-U-T-L-E-R. Yeah. So again, but check out, he's doing some cool stuff. I was looking at his Instagram and some other stuff. Incredible photographer, incredible, incredible filmmaker. Yeah, check him out. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, if you did, give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. And we'll see you guys again outside.